almost half the time we spend at work is wasted. Research shows that unnecessary meetings, irrelevant emails, and those small thankless tasks are all contributors to this problem. The Action Priority Matrix can help us here. This matrix is a tool that helps us measure the effort and impact of our actions and tasks so that we can identify where to best spend our time and what tasks to delegate or to avoid. Ideally, we want to spend our time on high value tasks that yield results so our motivation stays high and we're able to make a real impact in our work. The four quadrants of the matrix are mapped against two axes, effort and impact, both measured from high to low. Let's start with the least rewarding tasks. These are high effort, but low impact tasks or thankless tasks. There's little return on investment in these tasks, which is why we should avoid them as much as possible. When a task is low impact and low effort, we call it a fill-in. Try not to spend too much time on these tasks as they don't have a high impact. If they're required, they should be delegated where possible. High effort but high impact tasks are major projects. These are slow burns and may be time consuming, but they give good returns. These tasks need to be managed strategically so that you're able to invest time in them without allowing them to crowd out your highest priority tasks, your quick wins. Quick wins are low effort and high impact and are therefore the most attractive tasks. Focusing on these helps build momentum, get some runs on the board, which in turn makes achieving major projects and fill-ins that much easier. When it comes to using this matrix in your day-to-day -day work, it's about taking the time to categorize your workflow before beginning your day, week, or month. Some thankless tasks, which were routine, may be eliminated, freeing up time to work on quick wins of major projects. You may find that fill-ins can be delegated. It's important to review your workflow often too, as new left field tasks can often pull your attention sideways. Prioritizing effectively doesn't just make you more productive. It helps those around you and the wider business. As you spend more time on tasks that matter and remove obstacles that compromise high performance. No one likes wasting their own time, which is why it pays to spend time critically thinking through your workflow and prioritizing first. 